The following paper cutting systems article is brought to you by Scrapbooking.com magazine from the August 2012 issue. Wall Art Resist with Paint or Glue Pen and Watercolor by Amanda Hunt for Pazzles Inc. This project will show you how to make wall art using your Pazzles Inspiration Pen Tool and watercolor paints. Cutting files and a video tutorial of this project are available free to Craft Room members. First, design your file. Choose your quote and arrange it on a 12 by 12 sheet in the Inspiration Studio software. The file and quote used in this project are available for you to download from Pazzle's Craft Room. Next, set up font inlines if you're using a skinny pen. If you're using a paint pen with a fat tip, this step might not be necessary. Start your pen and load it in the inspiration. Most glue and paint pens need to be scribbled with a bit on a scratch sheet to get going. When your pen is ready, load it in the inspiration pen tool. Remove the four rollers that go over the paper so you don't smear your paint or glue. Then stick your watercolor paper to the mat. Remember in the Inspiration Studio software to set your cutting line to draw in the cut control panel before sending the file to the Inspiration. When the file is done drawing, take the paper off the mat very carefully. If you're using a paint pen, leave the paper on the mat until the paint is dry. If you're using a glue pen, pull the paper off the mat slowly and carefully. You're now ready to pour the embossing powder over the glue. Heat and melt the embossing powder, being careful not to burn the paper. You're now ready for the watercolor wash. Take your paints, water, and any optional sprays or sponges to your work surface. To begin the watercolor wash, use your paints and palette to make two similar compatible colors. After you've made your colors and they're in the palette, clean your brush or use a different brush to wet all of your paper. Get it very wet, but not so wet that it drips. Once the paper is wet, take one of your two colors and brush it in random spots over about 50% of the paper. Clean your brush. Then take up the other color and fill in the remaining 50%. Where the two colors touch, they should blend. If you overlap the two colors intentionally, they'll blend even more. Some optional watercolor techniques are dry brush, sponge or paper towel, spray, splatter, or dripped paint. Now, let it dry and then frame it. Check out your awesome work of art. Hang it up or give it as a gift. Please visit the Pazzles Craft Room for complete instructions for this project. To find the products used in this Pazzles article and shown in this project, check with your local scrapbook retailer. Browse our premier retail stores for coupons to a store near you. We hope you enjoyed this article from Scrapbooking.com magazine. Please check out all of the great articles and projects in this month's issue.